when learning how to use Pina to manage global state within a view app, you may have run across this little snippet of code right here time and time again, but you're not really sure what it does. Well, I'm going to give you the lowdown in this video. All right, the best way for me to demonstrate what this is actually doing is by commenting it out so that we can see what happens without it. Now, over in the browser, I have a little dummy e-commerce store set up where we can add different items to the cart. And that total is presented down at the very bottom. Now, if I wanted to make an update to how that total is displayed, I could add to fixed to the end of the Pina getter that is actually powering that total. The to fixed method here just says add a decimal at the end to a fixed position of two decimal places. So I'll hit save and notice that as soon as I hit save, nothing happens in the browser my 70 doesn't get the dot zero zero at the end. Okay, so let's try doing the exact same thing, but with our import meta hot statement commented back in. I will remove the two fixed now from our getter, refresh the page, add some items to the cart, and then let's add the two fixed back. Okay. Would you look at that? This time, we immediately get the point zero zero displayed in the browser. This is what's called hot module reloading. And this snippet right here that you can copy and paste from the Pina documentation or even set up a VS Code snippet to write for you is what is enabling this real-time update in the browser. It keeps the state within the browser intact but accounts for updates in your code within the store so that those updates can be immediately reflected. It works not only with existing getters and state within your store though, it also works to inject new state and getters. So let's say that we want to create a new getter here called total items. I'll save that. And then over in app.view, I will uncomment some code that displays those total items to the page. And there you go. We have the correct number of total items displayed immediately on save. This would not have happened had we omitted this snippet right here. Moral of the story is, make sure to always include this snippet inside of all of your Pina stores. Otherwise, you're just making things harder on yourself. Want to dive further into using Pina for global state management within your view applications? Then check out our comprehensive course entitled Pina, the enjoyable view store over on the view school platform. It is a comprehensive course that walks you through the basics of using Pina, but then also moves into more advanced Pina concepts like subscribing to actions and state and even diving into building your own Pina plugins. Beginners to Pina will walk away knowing exactly how to manage global state within a view app, and those that already know Pina will take their Pina game to the max.